It's a fair lump of a shark, Rex. He's a nice shark. He's pretty, isn't he? That is a very, very good example of a blue salmon. I'll give him a peck. He can make his way back in. And then we can get on with you, Dan. A look at that. The shark's got him. Well, isn't that amazing? Oh, you greedy, greedy thing. Now, isn't it? that is actually the law of the sea, isn't it? The law of the sea. And that's what it is, folks. Now, don't squirm at home, kids, or anything like that. This particular salmon, he's out of luck, because that's what happens. Look at that. He's been cut in half by a shark. And one thing I can tell you now, folks, when you get blood going into the sea like that, and you've already seen one shark, you know what steps to take, Dan? Get out the water. Uh, big ones in the opposite direction. But that's the law of the land. Get on you, mate. He's not happy. You with do the kissing. Yeah. And I'll do the releasing. With, with, with an above average <laughs> chance of the fish surviving. Oh, absolutely. Okay, you're supporting the weight, and that's good. Yeah. And he's a male. Yeah. Look at the ridges down the back. That's just yes, beautiful. you're right. He's a male. He's, he's a male. Clusters, yeah. there. Look at that. Will we send him on his way? Yeah, we'll send him on his way. Why not? Off you go, mate. Big long <laughs> tail. Look how long the, the top load of the tail is. Look. Oh, look at his mates under him. Oh, look at his mate. You could almost grab oh, his mate. Beautiful. There you are, Your Honour. <laughs> I'll give you that one for life, Your yeah. Honour. That's not bad, folks, eh? We'll give him three kilo, won't we? Oh, yeah, I'd say hey. so. <laughs> beautiful. I'll just let him go. And, oh, he wants to go. Off you go, if you want to go. Go on, go on, go on. There he goes. I can tell you now, this is one of the magic areas that I've ever been to. Can you just hook up? <laughs> Go on! Got a bar, Rex! Are you sure, Will? Yep. Good fish, good fish. Very nice fish. Very nice fish. Are you sure, he's, Will? He's got a nice dance. Back on him! Look at him! Look at him dance. He's dancing for us, Rex. Well, he's oh. dancing back where I come from. He's got a rock. hook up as well! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> oh! God, it's just going off. <laughs> Will, Will, settle down. We don't want a heart attack victim here. Uh. I tell you what, it's tough on man and tackle. Oh, look at the sharks! Oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Bad luck, old son. <laughs> now, folks, I've never caught one of these before. This is a backless, stomachless, giant trevally, uh, the Razor Gang. And listen, kids, don't get too upset because this is the law of the jungle. The law of the piscatorial kingdom. Eat or be eaten. The only reason we should lose this fish, if we're going to lose it, is if he's good enough to get out. Have a look at that. Well, I'm going to have a guess at about seven kilo. I've caught a lot of fish. I'm going to have a guess at about eight kilo. So about 17 or 18 pound in the old scale. And she is just a magnificent fish. I'm going to give her the kiss of life, folks. And there it is, the zinc cream on the end. And what I'm going to do is I'll give you a bit of a look at her. Have a look at it. The gleaming, sparkling, shimmering side of an Australian fish that we should be proud of. We look like we're in business. OK, you want to take him, uh, take him out there, Marcus? You got him. And I'll give him a bit of a kiss. There you go, mate. All the best to you. Wagons, ho! Have a look at that. Have a look at that little one. Look at the you. fish behind him, folks. Now, this is serious stuff. This is absolutely serious stuff. How do you want to play this, mate? In towards you? Yeah. Ooh. Holy mackerel. Come down here and have a look at this, folks. Have a look at the mouth on him. Isn't that a serious fish? What I'll do now is just back off my reel in case Peter Pakula can't uh, can't control this fish, but he can because he's a fish man. He's a macho man, oh. Big Pete. I tell you what, Joe would be glad of you, mate. Have a look at that. A six or seven kilo, eh? It's a big six or seven kilo, oh, isn't it? Congratulations, Rick. That's that is a fantastic. Well, thank effort. you very much, mate. Fantastic. If effort. I can get uh, a little set of pliers out there, mate. I tell you what, isn't this fantastic? Well. You can still uh, smell the brand new fiberglass off this 34 foot black watch. Vicky's choice here at Vanuatu, folks. But I tell you what, let's have a look at her. Absolutely magnificent. Give us a bit of a, uh, an idea of what you think she is, mate. She'd be a good uh, 13 kilos, I'd say. 
It's terrific. And that is a spectacular capture because you probably get one in 50 of these that you hook off the yeah, roof. Yeah, I reckon. Give us 30 pound, will you, folks? Don't ride in. Just give us 30 pound. I reckon. I love you, darling. I'm going to let her go. I'm going to let her go. She's going to slide over the side and she's going to live and just reproduce some more for us. Off you go. Mate, I'll, I'll give her a little bit of a peck. And Phil will do the deed, folks. I tell you what. He'll live to fight another day, and that's what it's all about. Conservation and ensuring that we've got fish for tomorrow. But you can still also take a fish that size home to eat. Probably better than to take one a metre, who's one of our great breeding stock. Now, you think this fish will kiss on first date? Kiss it, mate. Let's see. Well, I've heard about there that are, famous folks. kiss. Well, 12 foot marlin or 3 inch mullet, it doesn't matter. This uh, fish deserves its freedom. And what a magnificent fighting fish it was in the Tongariro River on the North Island of New Zealand. Away you go, baby. Oh, look at the size of him. Oh, and look at the lovely colours. Look at the lovely colours there. Oh, just absolutely fantastic. I'll just trace him and look at that. Oh, that's just beautiful. He might actually just drop off there if I do that, but I'll give you a bit of a look at him. He'll go absolute ape droppings just like that. He's a beautiful, beautiful male dolphin fish. And I tell you what, New Zealand, well, I'll be coming back. I tell you what, folks, start saving the coins. Because my missus doesn't know it yet, but every year I'm coming back. And just like the Brill Cream Man, I'm glad I will. Absolutely magnificent. And away you go. I know you're upset. I know you're upset. But I tell you what, I know you're upset. Now, don't do that to me, all right? Listen, I wanted to introduce you to the people of Australia. Now, you behave yourself, all right? OK? Hey, there, Rex. Welcome. This is Rex and Chrissy in Australia. You idiot. Our skipper aboard investigator, Jeff Walford, has certainly come good with the goods this afternoon. The change of tide in one of the deepest parts of this magnificent gulf. And how about that, folks? If that doesn't warm your blood, nothing will. Magnificent snapper. The fish of a lifetime. See you later, mate. And away he goes. <laughs>